Hi, this is Melissa. And I'm Pam with ProjectNursery.com. And you know, we're usually all about the nursery, True. but we have a little secret. We love a great, well-designed playroom. And we're gonna share five tips for creating the most fantastic playroom in your home. Okay, so our top five picks for designing that functional and beautiful playroom. Number one, it's color. Don't fight it. You've got to embrace the toys and their colors. And they're colorful for a reason. It's actually good for your baby. It is for developmental and it's fun. It's a happy place, right? It's the playroom. And actually, I don't have my own separate playroom. Our family room doubles as the play area uh, and the family room. So, I, you know what? I say bring on the color. The whole exactly. family likes it. One of the resources I like to look to is the Land of Nod. They're always colorful, cheery, it's happy. Super fun, right? Super fun. So that's what I use to start off the base of my playroom. Tip number two, storage, storage, storage. Oh, you can never get enough storage. And so I turned to the container store uh, for their alpha system. And it was really helpful because I have Legos upon Legos and then I have baby toys and I needed everything sorted. And at the end of the day, if the kids learn how to clean up and they know that their toys have Every place right. has a home, a place to, you know, when they put away the toys, it's really helpful. It teaches good habits, It right? does. Now, number three, you've got to have a special interest area. And what we mean by that is, let's say, a dress-up area. Like that have is fun a lot with of it. fun. Interact, yes, a lot of fun, or a teepee. That's a huge trend. We're seeing teepees in the nursery, in the right. playroom. It's just, it's a really fun area for kids to uh, interact, and imagine everyone and loves play. a fort. Everybody loves a so. fort. <laughs> number four, floor. Invest in a really comfortable rug. Right, I definitely recommend getting a wool rug, something easy to clean, something colorful also helps just to hide any spills or stains later on, as well as an extra thick uh, rug pad. Right. I think that's really key. The you're always on your knees, you're, on your you're knees. playing with baby, with toddler, so. Right, and learning you know. to walk. The kids can be a little unsteady, so you want a soft cushion for yeah, that. Yeah, and the pattern is such a good tip because pattern can go a long way with right. those silks. Right. And lastly, don't forget the furniture. Now, you have to think pint size. I mean, you're designing this room for little, little people, right? Like yeah. your, your babies. And as they grow, and so you're going to want to secure products that are you know, low to the ground. The Bumba multi-seat is a great example. Absolutely, I mean, I bring the Bumba multi-seat from the playroom to the kitchen, so it's so functional. Right. I have it right there in the playroom on the floor. And right now, we're into the Lamaze activity mat since we're at oh, that yeah. stage, Emmy and I, and uh, it's just a lot of fun getting on your hands and knees and getting on their level and having, you know, cute little chairs and tables meant just for them. So there you have it, our top five tips for a fabulous playroom. And for more great tips on nurseries and playrooms, log on to projectnursery.com. Thanks so much for watching.